Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today we are going to give you a positive update that we have got from the Cognizant company. Yes. So Cognizant company is going to do mass hiring and they have also updated their website and there are certain criteria that has been listed down. So we would be looking into that mass hiring they are going to do in 2023 year. And we will be sharing these details in the video. But before that, if you're watching this video for the very first time, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. So let's look at the details for the pressures that has come from Cognizant company and they are going to do mass hiring, right? So this is the campus eligibility criteria for 2023. They are going to hire multiple candidates for multiple job profiles, right? So first is for Gen C Elevate. So this is a program programmer analyst trainee role, PAT role. This is what they call. So candidates with a four year of graduation in BE, BTEC, MTech, MCA, MSc, CS and IT students from 23 batch. Then all these uh, kind of backgrounds, branches, CS, EC, EEE, IT, EC, information science. So these branches would be able to apply so these branches are applicable right and you need to have knowledge in knowledge in programming along with database skills right and they are offering a package of four lakhs per annum plus one time skill based joining bonus so it would be a joining bonus that you would be getting apart from this particular package now next role is gen c programmer analyst trainee role right so there is a minor difference right this is Gen C Elevate. This is Gen C. Okay. So candidates with a four-year graduation, again, same thing in 2023 of BE, BTEC, ME, MTEC, MCA. These people can apply. Even MS with a five-year integrated course degree, they can also apply. Right. Even for them, the package is of four lakhs per annum. But here, they don't have the joining bonus kind of a thing. Right. Now, what are the skill set required? So this uh, recruitment would be for 2023, right? And they should be able to work in shifts and they should have basic knowledge of PHP, Java, .NET. So all kind of programming knowledge because the job profiles are also of programming. So in the future, you would be becoming software engineers, senior software engineers and so on. Right, you need to have excellent communication skills in English. So see, English skills, communication skills are mandatory. If you get any kind of a job in IT company, these skills are very good, very necessary to have, right? And you will be having presentation test, aptitude test, technical interview, HR interview, right? So these were few of the details. Now we will also show you the website that has been updated for Cogniz from Cognizant, right? So I'll, I'll put this uh, company's uh, link in the comment section of this video. So as you can see, we have this particular page website that has been there, right? For off-campus drive, stay tuned. Now, these are the entry level, entry career level of jobs. See, Gen C, Generation Cognizant. And in this, again, you have four types of roles. So we discussed two types. Similar, we have four and other two types, right? So hiring channels spread over across four different routes. Gen C, Gen C Elevate, Gen C Pro, and Gen C Next. Right. So based on the various uh, interest level, based on the various passions that uh, the people are having, the candidates are having, the pressures are having, based on that, they will be asked to join these particular four programs, any one of these particular four programs. Right. See, Gen C is individuals with no or minimum programming expertise. That is Gen C, right? Knowledge of programming is recommended, but it is not mandatory. Gen C Elevate is again individuals with foundational knowledge in programming along with database skills, right? They join Cognizant with a skill-based joining bonus in addition to the Gen C package. Gen C Pro is individuals with expertise in enterprise platforms, products, specific technologies such as Salesforce, SAP, cybersecurity, ServiceNow, right? And their package will include a skill premium over and above the Gen C package. Now Gen C next. So they will join Cognizant at a differential salary package after a mandatory three month of internship with stipend, right? So these are the various levels that they have decided. 
for all these four kind of roles. Okay. Now let's look at the you know people who haven't got any kind of uh, call yet. So they have also listed this FAQs, right? And uh, Gen C program is something that will make you industry ready, right? And will help you to adapt to any situation. So it, so this is a, a testimonial that has been posted by one of the member. Okay, now how do I know my application status? So you have to apply over here, right? And uh, so you don't need to pay any money, right? If someone is claiming you that you have to pay XYZ amount for getting a job in Cognizant, and then you can write an email to this particular email addresses, right? It is uh, not something like the payment is required. Okay. Uh, how do I know my application status? So refer the application platform through which you had applied to check your application status, right? So you can apply from this if any other, uh, you know, maybe you might be taking course from somewhere and if they are helping you out, so you can check with them. When will I be called for an interview? You will receive an email to the primary email ID submit, submitted in the application form about the assessment interview process once the application window is closed. So now application window is open so you people can apply, right? Once uh, the application will be about to close, then you will be given an email address in which you would be given assessment and interview test link, right? Now, I attended interview long back and not received any further update. So, interview results will be published as per Cognizant's hiring process, right? I got a confirmation email. Let's say you got a confirmation email. You have been selected for Cognizant and not received any further update, right? So... So they are telling to be patient and uh, they will ask you, they will give you the date, month, year of joining along with it, right? So these are the updates that we have received from this particular company, right? Right. So this kind of uh, the positive update that has come, right? So uh, you will be able to find the link and this link we will be posting in the comment section of this video, right? So please apply to this particular portal and uh, uh, mention all the details very properly. You know, email address is there, mobile number is there so that they can, they are able to contact you. Sometimes, you know, what happens is the email addresses has some numeric characters appended after the emails, for example, uh, rd1235 at the date of gmail.com. Such emails will go into the junk box, right? So make sure that uh, you always put professional email addresses, first name dot last name at the rate of gmail.com. If that is not available in Gmail, then you can uh, add some other characters, right? But if you will add numeric, no, then all those things will be going in the junk, email, right? So thank you so much for watching this video. And stay tuned for more updates. Thank you.